Mm-hmm. You are welcome. <laughs> Yo, what's up, homies? Um, yeah, it's me, Sam Prince, legendary SP, blah blah blah, Prince. Um, yeah. So it's summertime, and yeah, you gotta bring out the dancehall vibes. So I got a dancehall tutorial. I made a dancehall type Afro beat beat, and um, yeah, I'm gonna play the beat, and then uh, I'll just explain the process. Yeah, so basically, I highlight I highlighted this section because um pretty much that's the beat. I just pasted it over and over again, and then you know what? That's the money. <laughs> now nah, I'm joking, but yeah, um, <clears throat> this beat's very simple because when it comes to the like to like a dancehall beat that I think that works well is um the simpler it is, you give the uh, the artist a chance to really do something with the beat, but you got to make sure that the vibe is right. So this is the way I do it. There's some people that can make a lot a lot better beats than this, but this is just the way I do it. So um I'll show you how I did it. So the, I use the free plugin for, for everything I believe. Cause most of the time if I pick up one plugin, I just use that plugin throughout and that's it. For the most for the for most of the time anyway. So um the first thing that I did was this, even though this is the second thing, but this is the first thing I actually did. I had uh, this sound. Alright, so I explained how I came up with that. Basically, the sound didn't have an arpeggiator on it, on this synth. So it would sound like this. I just put that in, you know. Then it, it just became something else. Simple as that. Then um, I'll put a bass under it now, you know, just to feel the, the dancehall vibes. So I got um, this simple bass here solid base uh this plugin is for free by the way so i'm gonna put the link in the description you can download this plugin for free and where i got all the pieces like i got a ton of pieces like like this is a lot it's a lot and uh so yeah let me play the bass so the bass just goes like this And I forgot to mention one thing actually. Um, I always, most of the time, anyway, I always like click this thing here, and then it it, it, it sort of transposes it because I'm not really good at playing the keyboard, but that helps with me like having to. It sounds better to me anyway, so that's what I do. So I just play all the white keys, and you can never really play a wrong key, yeah. And um, after that, I added um this string pad sound here. So it's just the, it's just the chords, same chords again. If you you guys have know, I mean you know me by now. My beats are really simple, but it's just the way I put them all together. It just becomes like a nice complex thing. So yeah, just showing you the presets because you know you guys like seeing the presets. Then I added um. Then I added the, so we go back here. Then I got this thing here, which is like an atmospheric sound arpeggio, the kind of thing. It's 
simple, simple, simple. So um, when I was doing it, um, I think it sounded like this without the arpeggios. Huh? Not a big difference really, but that made the, that made the difference. The arpeggio made the difference. And then um, the last instrument I added was on pattern five, so it was this, just this simple thing here. But when I finished the beat off, I ended up just doing. I just ended up doing that instead. So um yeah, to the drums now. So pattern six, yo. So this is what I did. So this is what I do now. So basically, I just have little patterns and then I just paste them throughout for five bars when I'm doing like you know when I'm when I'm when I'm making the beat and then I I just do like each part with like just a simple little pattern going on so this is the first one mm -hmm. so basically what will be happening is all this stuff will be playing and the pattern will be will be pasted here while i'm doing it and it's a lot easier that way so that's a nice tip for you guys if you're making afro beats and whatever it's a good way so then the second then the, after that so the pattern that I just played before will be playing and I'll be doing this as well, I'll be putting that in. So I'm building, as well. so I'll just keep building off it. Just keep building. Simple. Then I just did a variation for the kick. So uh, so this is so this is how it, it is all together. Oh damn, what am I doing? Uh, so yeah, so it goes like this. So, so I've done this first, added the thing, added and added, and yeah, pretty much that's how I made the beat, man. So simple, but you know it's effective. That's 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 that's, that's my take on it. So I'll just play the beat one more time, and then that's it, man. Then I added the gross beat on it. Actually, I'll show you the gross beat thing that I added. So uh, the gross beat thing that I added, uh, it just makes um everything play like twice. <laughs> So listen here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna show you which what which one it is, and then that's it. So um yeah, it's this thing here, B echo. So it just makes it kind of go like, and then for my mastering, I'm gonna show you. Yeah, for my mastering, I got this plugin called Slam Pro, and yeah, this is get this. You all know how to get it in it. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm going to play the beat one more time and that's it, yo. So basically the the formula is basically on how you arrange it and the beat the beat's pretty much done yo and then the artist comes on it and then bang you got a you got a good song all right thanks <laughs>